Hey, what's up you guys? We are going to be adding some bling to my hat that I painted. Um, I was gonna make a video doing this with my helmet that I did. Um, if you didn't see that on the Facebook or Instagram, I will show you the video here. So, as you can see there, uh, I added bling all over my helmet, and um, yeah, it turned out really good. So, the reason why I didn't make a video on that was because I uh, wasn't sure how it was going to turn out or if I was really going to like it all that much, just because um, I thought the gems were going to be a different size than what they came in as, but it actually turned out... Um, working really good. So I think I am going to go ahead and do my hat today too and just kind of do a quick video showing you guys kind of how I did it and what I used and everything like that. So main thing that I use is just a regular set of tweezers to grab the gems and move them around. And then obviously you're going to have all your little uh, gems to use here and um, I use this gem tack glue. Um, I think it was eight bucks or something for this whole bottle and there's a lot in here so I should be good for a while um, with this stuff. And then I just have just like a little paper towel just to wipe off excess glue and stuff with um, my tweezers that are, or that are on my tweezers. Um, and if you're wondering, I got the gems from uh, rhinestonebiz.com. They have all sorts of different gems, even from just the regular um, acrylic like plastic ones and um, all the way up to the uh, Swartzky crystals. And they come in different cuts and, and sizes and colors and everything else. So check them out. I think it was $50 in total for the glue. Um, I got a bunch of different colors of the gems, and I still have some left over from doing my helmet, and uh, yeah, and that was including shipping and everything too, so it wasn't too too badly priced. And I didn't get the Swartzky; these are the um, Hot Fix rhinestones, so they're not quite the Swartzky shininess, but they're not the acrylic uh, rhinestones either. So. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the blue side here. So what I'm basically gonna do is um, start by putting a little bit of glue in the places that I want the gems. And what I like to do with uh, the gems, and this is the blue, that I'm gonna be using. I don't know if you can really see that all that well. Um, and yeah, there are some other colors mixed in there because I used this blue on my helmet and I was trying to clean up all the rhinestones and get them back into the bag without losing too many of them. So what I do is I usually just place them on the table somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna put these. Um, just dump them out of the bag, place them on the table. And I like them to have the rhinestone facing up, not the flat side. I don't think you guys can even see my little pile, but... Um, and then go ahead and start putting the uh, glue down where I want it. If I can get the cap off. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to start putting the glue down. Oh my god. Oh my god, it just all came out at once. Oh god, oh no. <laughs> Let me clean that. Oh 
me that much. This is why I have a paper towel handy. In case something like that happens. Okay, anyway, so we'll try again. Little dot of glue. And then what I usually do is just kind of dip my tweezers in one of the little bits of glue just to get a little bit of glue on the end of my tweezers there which kind of helps me pick up and grab oh see I say that and then they fall out um, pick up and grab the little rhinestones and I'm not worried about there being like a little bit too much glue because it dries clear and it actually doesn't take away any of the shininess of the rhinestone when it's all dry. Come on. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on doing the blue uh, throughout here and then I will check back with you guys and show you what it's like so far. Okay, so now that we got the blue all in, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start on the purple on each side here. So, I can't remember. I think this was the closest purple that I could find, which it doesn't exactly match, but I think it should still kind of look nice either way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready and then we'll go ahead and just continue on with the purple. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just continue on doing the purple on each side and then I'll check back again with you guys. Okay, so the purple is all done, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and uh, <laughs> do the pink here. And depending on if I what I have left for uh, uh, gems, I will probably end up going back and adding more to the blue or more to the pink or whatever else. And I also have... Um, some crystals that I'm gonna put, or rhinestones, whatever, that I'm gonna put on the little white uh, zigzag pattern too. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on going through the pink here. So this is the pink kind of rosy pink color that I'm gonna be using. Okay, so the pink is all done on there. So now I'm going to go ahead and start with the white. So the white ones that I'm going to be using aren't exactly white, but um, they're a little bit bigger, so I'm not going to use quite as many as them or as, uh, you know, the pink and whatever else. I'm actually going to change where I want these to go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna continue on doing all the white all the way around and then I'll check back with you guys when I'm done. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the like little band around the brim here. And um, when I'm doing it, I'm gonna kinda have to hold the hat in my hand because I don't wanna set it down and have it touch any of the, the gems or anything underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the band all the way around in the bigger like white 
white crystal. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back when everything is dry and done to show you guys the final result. All right, you guys, here is the final result. I think it looks so good. I'm super excited about it. I wanted to show you guys. Sparklies everywhere. I'm so excited. For the most part, at any races that I can get to, I'm gonna try and wear my helmet. But there are some races that um, they want you to wear a hat. So at least now I have a nice, pretty, blinged out hat to wear. I'm so excited. I think it turned out really good. Let me show you guys the little band around it too. Turned out really, really good. Yeah. So there we go, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And uh, follow our Facebook and Instagram as well, which I have linked down in the description box. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys later.